you do your body and your breasts and them vex. Girls and nation, girls, then judge you for your breast then and for your bumper. Yeah, you look like a luxury doll. So much perfection without the flaws. I would like to see. Hi guys, so welcome to Brains and the Beat. And you asked for it, so here it is. This is going to be kind of a long video because I didn't want to fast forward anything, and I also didn't want to leave anything out. So we're going to get straight into it. And the first thing I'm doing is priming my skin. I like a more hydrating glowy primer because I have dry skin. So I'm using the MAC Prep and Prime to prime my skin. Making sure I work that into my skin. And as you can see, as soon as I put it on, it gives me a more glowy appearance. Now I'm using my concealer to prime my eyes and that's the Tarte Shape Tape in Tan Sun. And I'm just putting that all over my lids and then using a blending brush to blend that out. And that's going to be my base for my eyeshadow. And I'm also not setting this concealer. If you don't set it, then your eyeshadow will be more vibrant and they will stick better. A lot of people have the notion that they use like a clear powder, clear or loose eyeshadow and they use it to set their concealer or their base and it will make their eyeshadow stick on but if you want vibrant pigmented eyeshadows then you can't set it now i'm moving in a little bit closer so you guys can see exactly what i'm doing and i'm using the brown color from the juvia's place zulu palette in my crease first and i didn't want to fast forward any of this i didn't want to do any of that because I want you guys to see exactly how long it takes me to blend out my shadow. So I'm using that brown first and blending it into my crease directly in my crease and also above my crease area, concentrating it in just the crease. I'm not um, doing the outer crease area or any of that, even though you make this area. Now I'm going to go in with a tapered small blending brush and I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Fudge Single Shadow and I'm going to put that directly into my crease. I'm putting that very low in my crease because when I cut my crease I want it to stand out and that brown color, that fudge color that I'm using is very pigmented and it's a bit darker than the Juvia's Place brown. So I want that nice transition from a lighter brown to a more darker brown. And I'm doing the same thing on both eyes. So now I'm going in with Anastasia Beverly Hills Fudge. That's a single eyeshadow with a smaller blending brush. It's a tapered brush. And I'm going to go in directly in my crease area to deepen it. I like the brown from the Zulu palette, Juvia's Place, but it's a little bit more warmer and a little lighter. I'm using the fudge color to make it a little bit more intense and to have that gradient from lighter, from a lighter brown to a more darker brown. So that's why I'm putting that dark shadow right there. And you can use any two brown shadows that you like. One is a more warm shade and then fudge is a neutrally neutral dark brown. 
I didn't want to skip any of this because I want to show you guys how long it took me to blend both shadows together and also how long it took me to cut my crease. I wanted to show you guys everything in real time so you guys know what to expect if you're doing a makeup look like this one. Now I'm going in with a clean blending brush that doesn't have any product on there and I'm blending the both brown colors together to make sure I have a seamless blend. Now I'm going in with Tansan um, Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I'm just dabbing that on my eyelids and then I like to look down when I cut my crease to make the concealer go where the shadow would go if I closed my eyes because if your eyes is like mine and you have like a lot of skin that falls over your lid area then it makes it very difficult for you to cut your crease so that's how I cut my crease I basically close or semi close my eyes um, to see where the top skin of my eyelids would fall basically if my eyes were like semi closed i don't know if i'm explaining this right or correctly but i hope you guys can understand so if i open my eyes completely you'll see that a portion of the top part of my eyelids is kind of gone disappear basically so that's where I'm cutting my crease at to make sure that if I open my eyes or if I close my eyes completely then my cut crease is going to show got me I hope you guys understand and also a cut crease takes a quite a long time because you want to make sure that line is precise and it's straight and also it's it's like an artwork basically <laughs> Now I'm going in with a flat shader brush and I'm using that to apply the orange color from the Zulu palette directly on my lids. And this is also going to take some time also because you want to make sure it's precise. You don't want to have the orange and the brown overlapping. You want that line of demarcation. <laughs> Now I'm going to go in with a small detailer um, flat shader brush and I'm going to 
make sure that the orange color go all the way up to that line that I made with the concealer covering up all the concealer that I put down and then I'm gonna go in with a blending brush and I'm gonna try kind of slightly blend the orange and the brown colors together so you don't have a sharp line of demarcation even though you want a sharp line because it's a cut crease you also want it to look blended and seamless now i'm mixing my mary Kay cc cream in deep and also my l'oreal pro glow foundation in 209 caramel beige and those are the two foundations that i'm going to be using today i'm gonna blend that out with a foundation brush this is actually a powder brush from elf um, that i've had forever that i'm using to blend out my foundation <music> Now I'm going in with my Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer in the color C10 and I'm going to highlight underneath my eyes, both eyes, my forehead and also my chin just to bring those areas forward. I like my highlights a little bit half a shade lighter than my skin tone. I don't like the two to three shades lighter underneath my eyes. I don't think it's necessary but to each their own whatever floats your boat. Now I'm going to use my wet and wild stippling brush and i'm gonna stipple that concealer underneath my eyes a stippling brush helps you to take up excess products and as you guys can see i put down a lot of concealer underneath my eyes but i don't want my skin to look cakey like it has a lot of products so i like to use a stippling brush for my concealer for that very reason and i'm just gonna stipple my concealer where i want it to be and where i want my highlight to be i'm not going over that area then i'm gonna go in with the same brush that i used to blend out my foundation i'm gonna use that brush to blend my concealer and my foundation together because you don't want that harsh line of demarcation where you highlight it and where your foundation is so that is a tip that i use all the time for a lot of stuff also I do the same thing for my highlighter to make sure that my highlighter is blended into my skin and you'll see that later on in the video I don't like um, my concealer just bright underneath my eyes and not blended and same thing with my highlighter I like my highlighter to be blended into the skin so it looks like it's coming from within it's not just sitting on top of my skin so now i'm going in with my morphe brontour palette and i'm using the shade vlogger and i'm mixing both of them together to bronze up my skin and contour at the same time and the brush that i'm using is a wet and wild brush and it is a brush blush brush i can't talk that's kind of a tongue twister a blush brush <laughs> so now that my concealer and my base is done i'm gonna go in with a definer brush and i'm going to mix both brown colors my anastasia beverly hills color and the brown from zulu palette together on that same brush and then i'm gonna blend that on the lower lash line i also popped a gold 
highlighter color in the inner tear ducts of my eye which that clip is lost i don't know where it went but now we're gonna move on to the lips and we're gonna use two matte liquid lipstick the first one is milani a more matte liquid lipstick in covet and then the second one is fighter maybelline superstay matte ink liquid lipstick and i'm gonna use the milani one to outline my lips like a lip liner but i'm gonna leave the middle portion of my lips completely blank because that's where, where we're gonna put the fighter color now i'm putting on fighter by maybelline and i'm mixing both of those colors together to get like the perfect ombre brown lips like this lip was like one of my favorite lips that i've done in a while it's absolutely gorgeous now i'm going in with fenty beauty kilowatt highlighter in hustler baby and then i'm gonna go in with my foundation brush again and just dab my skin press the highlighter in my skin i don't want it sitting on top of my skin like i've said before now i'm going in with the fenty gloss bomb and i was like this is just a gloss everybody's hyping it hyping it up and it's not worth the money 16 bucks you must be crazy for a lip gloss but it's worth every single dollar it's absolutely gorgeous on top of liquid lipstick or lipstick in general and it's absolutely gorgeous on top of your regular lips it makes your lip pop it's so so good i really want to get like two of them one for personal use and then one for like just a backup pur purpose and they also released a new one so i'm gonna get that one also now i'm gonna show you guys how i put on my lashes these are just like a pack of 50 that i got from amazon and they're absolutely worth the money especially since i've been doing a lot of makeup tutorials i like to put on my eyelashes first with my fingers then i attach the sides the outermost corner of my eyes with my tweezer then i go into the innermost corner most of my eyelash most eyelashes on the market unless they're mink eyelashes fit my eye i don't have to cut them but if you're going to cut these eyelashes cut them from the corner the outermost corner the tail end of where your eyebrow is not the inner corner where your tear duct is basically because you don't want to ruin the shape of the lashes if you're actually going to put on lashes now i'm going in with mascara and this is the voluminous paradise waterproof mascara and i'm blending my natural lash lashes with the falsies with the mascara and i'm also going to put it on my lower lash lashes to make them pop and stand out I like wearing lashes because my lashes are tiny, tiny, tiny. And the wig video is coming. I recorded a portion of it um, this day, but I also wanted to do a little bit more because it wasn't laid the way I want it to be. So you guys are definitely going to get a hair tutorial or a hair video on this wig right here. Don't worry so this is the final look don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to your girl here on youtube i'm part of here man deuces